Jesus Christ has not come to strike us and smite us with diseases. He has come to heal our body and deliver us from diseases. But this the girl was unable, right unable to move. out loud Lord Jesus I believe you are the Son of God you are all I need tell the master you're all has spinal stenosis. Do you realize she is walking downstairs? Now walk back up them, please. Walk back up those steps. She has not done this in 20 years. 20 years she's not done this. No pain in her body, her kneecaps. I see. Dear God, no pain, no pain, no pain. She, no pain. she had spinal stenosis for 20 years, had no actually just needed new knees and all of the pain that was in her body but she walked out of the wheelchair walked up the stairs she, she told me as she was coming she told me as she was coming up i'm walking upstairs i haven't walked up stairs in 20 years do you know what kind of an anointing is here mr brock i feel the anointing there is such glory here I give you the praise, I give you the praise. I give you the praise for this. I give you the glory for this. Somebody shout praise the Lord. Dear God, dear God, dear God, what's happening? Pastor, here? this is so wonderful. This lady here was unable to stand or even walk. This is her Jesus. girl. She's in a wheelchair, Pastor. Oh, Jesus. She fell. Talk to me, Harry. She fell at work pitched her nerves in her back, in her side. She lost her feeling in her all her left side. Unable feeling to stand. The feeling the is feeling bad. Is bad. She's able pick to. Pick up your leg. Pick up your leg. Pick Pastor. up your leg. Pastor, her, her daughter. Her daughter. Pastor, her, her daughter. Give your praise for this anointing. Pastor. I give you praise for this anointing. I give you praise for this anointing. Pick him up so you can talk to me. I, I, I gotta understand. There's electricity flowing through my body right here. And when they talk to me, I'm not listening at times. Praise for this. Jesus. Dear God. 
John Hairsmaster, quickly. John Hairsmaster. Jesus. There's glory here, people. Lift your hands and ask for glory here, people. Your presence, your presence, your presence, your presence. Your presence, your presence. Makaro, Papa. Antimente, Kurama. Bring them in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fire in this house, there's fire. Rich, may the Lord heal you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Be made whole, my brother. Be made whole. Let health be your portion in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's my light on in here. Lift your hands, break, and I'll touch you tonight. Oh, Jesus. Henry, talk to me again. I didn't Pastor, hear what he said earlier. Pastor, this is her girl. Oh. She had lupus. She had, she's unable to stand. She's unable to walk. She's been helping her mom with all her pain. Oh, 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 with all her pain. She was numb. She said, I haven't seen my mom stand this long. But what's amazing What was wrong with her? This one. My mother was in a, she fell on her job. And she came here to Florida to visit me to see you. And I brought her here basically to be healed. Because I know God is a human God. Lupus. Who had lupus? She had a dead nerve, unable, numbness on her left. She brought her mom in pain. This girl, this is the daughter. She, she came with lupus. lupus. She had problems. She, had had lupus. she had so much pain, Pastor. When she was in the back, when her mama came out of the wheelchair, she began crying. She said, I've never seen my mom stand this long. And what happened to and her? And all the pain is gone. Also, when, gone. With her daughter when she her. brought her mother, the Lord healed her. Somebody shout hallelujah. Lord. Jesus. Dear God, dear God, dear God, dear God. John Hanks choir, quick. There, 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 there's like a breeze of glory here. There's like a breeze of glory here. Lord, let that choir know your power. Let this choir know your mighty presence. Let this choir know your fire. As they minister tonight, let there be glory, 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 glory. Touch that choir in Jesus' mighty name. Brock, what happened here? Pastor, this lady has been suffering with cancer. You gotta understand, when that only comes this, this strong, you, you begin to pray in the Holy Ghost because on the day of Pentecost, on the day when the Lord filled them with the Spirit, what happened? They began to pray in tongues. What happened to her? Talk to me. Pastor, this lady's been suffering with kidney cancer, lung cancer, uh, she had spinal uh, pain. Huh? Operation for kidney, operation for lung, and, and what happened? What happened? Tonight, the power of God came upon her. All of the pain has left her body. Oh. Pastor, when you were in Orlando for the one Sunday service, yeah. she came, had a terrible hernia in her stomach. They were going to operate. God healed her instantly in Orlando and, tonight, and brought her down here to Miami and healed her of the cancer as well. Hallelujah. Take your seats, please. Your presence. Your presence. Your presence. Pastor, what this happened lady here? was in a wheelchair. She said, this was my wheelchair. She said, you don't understand. I've been in so much pain with, with spinal stenosis that you called out. She began running. She got out the wheelchair and began running. And all the pain is gone tonight. This is wonderful. See it again, lift that instrument, my God. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. That might be part of his name. Jesus. Dear God, that's glory. Amen, amen. I love Jesus. Now, now, tell me again, what was wrong with you? Explain that to people. Um, my spine was being pinched off with arthritic changes that that grew inside my spinal canal against my spinal cord. She also had a heart condition that you called out, and God healed her from that too. So tonight, the power of God came on you. Yes. 
Absolutely, yes. And then what? And then I, I, the pain was gone. The absolute pain was gone. I was having horrible pain down my leg. And now you've been running. <laughs> she couldn't walk. Run, run a little more. Let me see. Hey, she couldn't do that. I believe you. I believe you. Well, people, give the Lord a mighty hand for his goodness. Thank you, Jesus. Now, how long, how long have you suffered with that? About 15 years. Dear God, I am glad, I am glad I came to Miami just to see you here. Jesus, Master, Jesus, Master. Somebody say praise the Lord.
touch each mind. Holy oh, yeah. Spirit, darling, Holy feel Spirit, play. We need you to flow. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come and feel this. Place. Let the rivers of worship flow. Come out to me. Fill me. Use me. Spirit of the living God. Hands uplifted, just a whisper, melt me, melt me. Just a fresh Jesus name. Fresh. Lift our hands to him as we welcome him. Holy Spirit, welcome. Welcome. We welcome you. Holy Spirit. Um... 
omnipotent Father. Spiritus Santo, bienvenido. A este lugar, Jesu Cristo, bienvenido. A este lugar, Padre Omni, potente. Gracia y amor, bienvenido, bienvenido, thou art Lift your hands and tell him thou art welcome. The presence of the Spirit is a healing presence. It is the Holy Ghost who heals the sick. Jesus, the Son of God, did not perform one miracle until the Holy Ghost came upon him. That glorious moment in the river Jordan, when the Holy Ghost came upon him, baptizing him. For the Father had given the command, Son, go to earth become the substitute for humanity become the sacrificial offering on the cross but without the Holy Ghost Christ Jesus could not have accomplished the plan of God without the Holy Ghost he could not have come to earth it was the Holy Ghost who came upon the Virgin Mary conceived within her womb the Son of the living God. It was the Spirit of the Lord that made the Word flesh. And as He ministered to the multitudes, it was by the power of the Spirit. It is the Spirit of God that gave Him power to endure the cross. It is the Holy Spirit who raised him from the dead. It is the Holy Ghost. Who is the Holy Ghost? He is the Spirit of the Father. And he is the Spirit of the Son. As I walk upon these platforms, crusade after crusade, I'm so aware of the fact that this body must be surrendered to him completely in order for him to use me. I'm so aware of the fact without the Holy Ghost, I cannot do a thing or say a thing that will touch anyone's life. But only the Holy Ghost can take clay, flesh, and use it for the glory of the Son of the living God and the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of the Lord, a person so real, so gentle, so beautiful. He's not distant from any one of you, not far from any one of you, so precious. So precious. 
It is he who makes Jesus real to the hearts of men. It is he who makes the word of God live. It is he who gives you a love for this precious book beyond anything you can comprehend. It is he who helps you pray and commune with the Father. It is he who makes Jesus so intimate and so close. The Holy Spirit came upon the apostles in obedience to the master who said, Tear ye in Jerusalem till ye be endued with power. Fifty days they waited in an upper room. And on the day of Pentecost, a mighty rushing wind, the breath of God came once again. The same breath that had transformed Adam from mud to man. The same breath that gave new birth to the apostles after the resurrection. For he had breathed upon them and said, receive the Holy Ghost. That same mighty breath came in as a mighty wind and filled the house. Tongues as fire appearing on their heads. They began to speak in unknown tongues as they praised the master. Such a change took place in them that day that Peter preached with such boldness. Such boldness. 3,000 were saved and then a few days later the miracle mighty power of God healed the crippled men at the gate beautiful and the high priest called the apostles and they came and stood before the very high priest who condemned Jesus to the cross not knowing he was fulfilling Bible prophecy Peter with such boldness said you have crucified the Holy One. And the scripture says when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and the apostles, they knew that they'd been with Jesus. For he was bold. It is the anointing that gives that boldness, I tell you. And they said, no longer will you speak in that name. The apostles with boldness said it is not right for us to obey men. We will obey God. They continued preaching the gospel that thousands upon thousands were saved in Jerusalem. So glorious and so thick and wealthy was the presence of God on them. The streets of Jerusalem were filled with the sick. Think about the streets of a great city like Jerusalem, packed with couches and beds in every street. Not one street was empty. The scripture says the streets, the streets of Jerusalem filled with the sick. Peter the apostle did not lay hands on them. He just passed by them, just walked by them. Didn't have time to lay hands on all the sick folk. He just walked by and the shadow of Peter touching the sick. The scripture says, every one of them, every one of them on those streets was healed. For it is not by might. It is not by power. But by my spirit, saith the Lord. This same Holy Spirit transformed Paul the apostle from Saul of Tarsus. This same Holy Spirit gave Stephen the boldness to stand there knowing he would be killed for his words. This same Holy Spirit has kept the church alive all these years. And I've seen his mighty wind in India and Japan and Asia and Africa and around the world. The same anointing I feel here tonight I have felt in Costa Rica and Guatemala. Chile and Brazil, 
The same Holy Ghost is around the world for He is one Holy Spirit. And tonight all you have to do is just call the name Jesus. For He has come to magnify Jesus, I promise you. He has come to glorify only one name, Jesus. Tonight as you call the name Jesus, His blessed presence and power will come upon your body come upon your life and make you whole. No disease can stand in the presence of the Lord. No sickness can remain in the presence of the Lord. And Jesus, the Master, once we glorify the Master and adore Him in worship, that's when the Spirit of the Lord comes. The Holy Ghost does not come when we shout at Him, scream at Him. He comes when we worship Jesus. You see, ladies and gentlemen, it is still Jesus that heals. He is the same yesterday, today, and evermore. Oh, if only you can see it. If only you can grasp what I'm telling you. When that blessed presence of the Lord comes on me, it's Jesus. That's all. When the Spirit of the Lord is there, it's Jesus. Don't you understand? Oh, such an overwhelming presence of Jesus comes on you. For the Holy Ghost glorifies Jesus and magnifies Jesus and testifies of Jesus. He does not present himself, he presents Jesus. And once the presence of Jesus is rich, it's so easy to be healed. It's so easy to ask and receive. It's so easy to be free from that pain. And as he healed the sick 2,000 years ago, he heals the sick today. No matter what the doctors say, no matter what anybody says, Jesus still heals today. And tonight, you do not have to leave sick and afflicted. He loves you. Jesus died on a cross, suffered in agony to save and heal you. As I told you last night, I'll tell you again tonight, Salvation and healing are twins. Healing is the fruit of redemption. Tonight, don't settle for 50% of the benefits. Receive all the benefits of the cross. All the benefits of salvation. For remember, there is the front of the cross and there is the back of the cross. The front of the cross is salvation, but the back of the cross is healing. Lift your hands to the Master quickly. Lift your hands to Him quickly. Jesus, you're the sweetest name of all. You are Jesus. You always hear me when I call. Your blessed Jesus you lift me up each time I fall you're the sweetest sweetest name of all it was a woman one day an issue of blood the Bible says was her problem 12 years she laid in a bed of affliction Spent all her money on physicians. Maybe you too have spent all your money on doctors and they hadn't helped you. But one day somebody came and knocked at her door. And she opened that door and they said, Jesus is about to pass by your house today. Get up quickly, get up. Get dressed, get ready. This may be your day for a miracle. She 
fixed herself all up and came out of her home. And when she came out, Jesus was passing by and she saw a great multitude. But her faith was so strong, she said, if I only but touch the hem of his garment, I'll be healed. And once noble woman began to crawl on her knees, maybe somebody's sandals stepped on her little frail hand as she was crawling maybe somebody kicked her as she's trying to get near the master and as she got there trembling and weak she touched the hem of his precious garment and was made whole oh precious saints he's still the same lift your hands and call his precious name Oh, it is Jesus. Yes, it is Jesus. There's a mighty anointing here. It is Jesus in my soul. For I have touched the hem of his garment. And he blood hath made me whole. Everyone standing calling his name. Oh, it is Jesus. Yes, it is Jesus. It is Jesus in my soul. For I have died And his blood hath made me whole. Everyone lift your voice and lift your hands to him. Oh, it is Jesus. It is Jesus in my soul. Jesus. Your 
The lame, the sick, the blind, the deaf. Because you're here, Master. Tonight, they're going to be healed and set free and delivered because you're here, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Lift your hands, Christ. Just wrap us in your glory, dear God. There's such a presence here. Just wrap us in your glory. Draw us by your grace.
such an anointing everyone can receive right now come on lift your hands receive it receive that healing Have you had the arthritis, honey? Three years. Last week, my blood pressure was so high. Five of my legs. But glory to God. 
God has healed me tonight. And he has set me free. There is such an anointing. There is such an anointing. People lift their hands and thank him for the anointing. Pick it up, Johnny. Pick it up, Johnny. Pick it up, Johnny. Dear God, dear God. Dear God, dear God. Yeah, 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 just fire. Just fire, just fire, just fire, just fire, just fire. Just fire. Dear God, just fire, just fire, just fire, just fire. Just fire, just fire, just fire, just fire, just fire, just fire, just fire. That's fire all over. There is fire, 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 there is fire. Oh, there's fire here. Join hands, fire. Pastor, pain in his legs, down into his feet. I watched him in back there. I saw the power of God flow upon him. And when you called out arthritis, I saw God touch this man. He's all the pain has left his body. He is shouting and rejoicing and praising God. Pick him up. When the glory of God hits you like this, devils run like cowards, sickness bows in the name of the Lord. How long have you had arthritis? Three years. Do something you couldn't do. Come on. Huh? He could never do it when he got home last night in the hotel. My brother, run. My brother, run and give the devil trouble. My brother, run and let the devils of hell cry. Let the devils of hell cry as they see the Lord doing wonders among us here in Miami. Henry, what's going on over there? Pastor, three weeks ago she had surgery. Go, my brother, and rejoice. She, she had a Go tumor. And, Go and rejoice, brother. Go and rejoice. Pastor, she had a tumor. A tumor in her leg. All the pain is gone. She can walk. She told me she could Be run. Brave. Oh! Pick her up. Pick her up. Move your leg. Is the pain gone? No. Oh. Gone. It's gone. Is, is it gone? No. Oh. Every bit of it. Stomp on it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Honey, crush the devil's face, woman. Crush the devil's face. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah to the Lord. Everybody sing. Hallelujah to the King. Hallelujah to the Lord. Ministries has stayed on the cutting edge for the past five decades, making the move from analog television to digital broadcasts, HDTV, the internet, streaming live events, and social media. Today's fast-changing, bold new world brings an entirely new set of challenges. What we did in 1974 when this ministry began 
or in 2000, or even 2022, will not be effective in 2023, and who knows what 2024 and beyond will bring. Benny Hens Ministry has been at the forefront of each innovation that provides a better way of taking the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world more effectively and efficiently. Today, more than ever before, we stand on the edge of a bold new world. From the beginning, the Lord made it clear that keeping and storing all archives and resources should be a top priority. This is a new hour. This is the Joshua generation. Now I want to tell you something. The first thing God said to Moses is go down. The first thing he said to Joshua is arise. We're not a people who are going down. We are ones who are rising up. Even with controlled temperature storage facilities, time has been the enemy. Tape warping, decay, housing detachments, cracks, shredding, and breakdowns happen. Older tapes break, disintegrate, and require surgical type methods of restoration. Thus far, we've rescued and digitized 10,500 of the 13,437 tapes from the past half century. To God be the glory. A conservative estimate to finish this digitation process is a million dollars to restore the final 30% of these disintegrating tapes and move everything over to a much more permanent digital format. The project already started can be completed fairly quickly. Imagine, if you will, what could happen if all of our digitized material could be used to translate everything into every language on Earth. It is possible. Even better, how exciting would it be to translate these materials using the same voice as originally spoken, yet in all of the different dialects around the world? Pastor Benny speaks several languages, but imagine if his teachings became available online with him speaking in Swahili, Mandarin, Portuguese, Belarusian, or Cherokee. This amazing AI tool will be useful around the world. Pastor Benny's legacy, life's work, calling, and anointing will be preserved for generations yet to come until the Lord returns. And with artificial intelligence tools that can translate all of the digitized materials into languages around the world, we can truly fulfill our Lord's great commission. Nearly 50 years ago, this great adventure known as Benny Hen Ministries began with one voice. Today, that one voice continues to be amplified over and over through every possible means. It's time to finish the job. What happens next will be the greatest blessing of all.